In this video, I'm going to show you the process that I use to create educational videos for YouTube. The first thing I want to say is that there are many, many ways that you could go about this, and this is just the way that I have arrived at um, because I like to create the videos on my computer and record them that way. You could also use things like iPads and smart boards and various other things to create your videos. So, this is just one of many, many different ways. The I do it very cheaply by using a couple pieces of hardware um, a USB tablet is the first thing it looks kinda like this right here and you just plug it into your computer and then it allows you to write on the screen and bring your handwriting into the video so I use that to do math problems you can get them very inexpensively about thirty five dollars um, if you search around a little bit the more expensive versions will have uh, wireless connections it'll be usually Bluetooth you don't necessarily need that if you want to stay cheap just get the one that plugs in via USB then the second thing is a microphone if you're working with a laptop computer many laptops have microphones that are built in I like to use one that just uh, goes onto my head and I can talk into it that way uh, it keeps out a little bit of the background noise that you might sometimes get if you have a microphone that's built into the computer then the software that I use, two pieces of free software which are fantastic. The first one is called Cam Studio, and that's a screen recording software which will record anything that shows up on your computer screen. Completely free. You can get it at camstudio.org here and just scroll on down and there's the download link. You can download that. I'll talk more about the specific settings that I use in a little bit. Also, the program that I use for the whiteboard, essentially, is called Paint.net. To get that, you go to GetPaint.net, and it's a, a nice program which uh, brings in some drawing tools um, and also layers, and I'll talk about those a little bit later as well. Okay, so the, stu the software that I use, both free and both fantastic the cam studio settings here's the program itself a few settings that I want to talk to you about quickly um, under options here first of all we have the video options the compressor will determine both the quality of your video and the file size um, I often use just the Microsoft video depending on what you have installed on your computer you might see a longer list here but you can play around with that and see find a good balance between uh, the video the quality and also the file size the bigger the file size the longer it'll take for the video to upload so that's that piece then the cursor options are another thing that you'll want to be aware of again under the options menu right here you can choose to do a number of different things you could hide the cursor if you don't want to see the mouse flying around on your screen or you could use the actual cursor so like now I have the mouse or you could use a custom cursor something like if you want to use a finger to point things out something like that they have pens and pencils and all sorts of different things you could play around with so you could use those also there's options for highlighting the cursor if you're trying to point things out on your video that can be handy so that people can follow a little bit closer perhaps what you're uh, referring to so those are the cursor options then we have uh, audio options which again right here you want to make sure that uh, you check out the audio options for your microphone to make sure the volume is good so that uh, it's gonna sound good when you record and then also make sure that you click record audio from microphone there's lots of other options too those are just the ones that I use there then you'll want to select your region that you're going to record. And I choose to do a fixed region. You could choose to record the entire screen, but the issue is most videos that are viewed on YouTube are viewed fairly small. Like here, maybe just a little bit bigger than this picture right here. And if we look just at that picture notice how it's very difficult to make out what those things are well if you record your whole screen then it's gonna get squished down like that and it's gonna be hard to tell what is what exactly so I choose to record about uh, well exactly 640 by 480 so fixed region 
and I choose 640 by 480 and I make sure I unclick this because then what happens when I start the recording it gives me a box which I can drag and place over the area of the screen that I want to record so fixed region and uh, just recording a smaller section of the screen so that things don't get squished down so much when we put the video online then the next piece here under the program options uh, back over here is to um, name of AVI file you want to make sure uh, ask for file name is clicked because otherwise it will automatically name it for you and it can be a little bit challenging to track down exactly where the program's saving it so if you have it ask you for the file name it, it'll give you the option of putting it in a particular place and also naming it in a certain way whichever you would choose to like to do so those are the settings that I use on Cam Studio. Just scratching the surface, there's a ton of things that you can do with it. Um, so be sure to play around with it a little bit once you get comfortable. Then paint.net, I'll show you that right here. Just has all these different drawing tools. You've got uh, the fill tool, a paint, um, the text tool, various shapes and all those sorts of things and you can also bring in anything that's on your screen so what I like to do like for math equations let me show you how I go about that I might use uh, word to and the math type or the equation editor that's built in there and then we can make these a little bit bigger right down here just by zooming in and I'll zoom in to about 200 percent so then I can scroll over. So now they're a pretty nice size. Then I'll use what's built into Windows, the snipping tool, and I can just select that area like so. Okay, now it's copied, and then I just choose copy here, and I can bring it over and paste it into the um, image that I'm going to work with to create my video. Now, the file size, remember I said that I record 640 by 480 so that's the size I'm gonna make this image looks like so I'm gonna drag this out of the way just to make sure that it's not getting to my video I'm gonna record this area that's in white right now and if you wanna um, look a little bit like Khan Academy let me show you how to do that quick if you just use the paint bucket here we can fill in in black so then the background is black then you can write in colors and if I wanted to bring in that thing that I just copied there I can go ahead and paste it in and you might say well wait a minute that doesn't look very nice well what I really want is the text to be white but the background to be black well how can I do that well it's just a couple simple commands here if you go up to adjustments black and white then that just makes sure that it's clearly black or white then for the next thing we'll say invert colors so there we are. Now it's a nice white text on a black background, blends right in. Then we can choose to use all sorts of bright colors here and do our, whoopsie, make sure I have the right tool. And then we can do our, our drawing and, and writing using that USB tablet that I, that I mentioned. So let me just show you how I would go about recording. So bring up the recorder here just hit the button right here to record and remember like I said it gives you this window which you see floating around there and I can drag that until it's over the part that I want to record so there it is about right there that's the area I want to record I'm not recording yet but when I click now I'm recording and the area that I'm recording has these little green and yellow sorta of corners to it inside that area is what's being recorded so I go ahead and do that and typically I would drag this so that it's not over the top but I have it in here so that you can see exactly what's going on with it so I might have that up in the corner of my screen so it's not getting in the the middle of my video there okay so now let's say we did our thing made your video whatever you want to show on there and then I'll just go down here and I can right click on this and choose stop then it pops up just like I mentioned before it says save AVI file so we can give it a file name and we can just save it I'll just call it sample 
and then we click save and it'll take a little bit and then it opens up so here it is here's what I just had recorded just a few moments ago okay so there it is then the next step the next thing I want to do is go ahead and upload that so then I'll grab go over to YouTube here and right here right on the top of your channel assuming that you've set up a YouTube account that you're going to use you can just go to your channel and click upload then upload video and YouTube is very good in terms of the formats it supports so you could use lots of different formats it, it actually works very well so we'll choose that one that I just upload or that I just saved click open and then it's gonna upload it now just a couple notes here as we make our way down the next thing here is says submit this video for revenue sharing if you can say no to all these things you could potentially make a few bucks uh, as people watch your video and another important piece here is this video information and privacy settings you'll want to hit that down arrow there so that expands out and then fill in this information so that it'll help people find your video and be able to bring up your video when they search um, you could put in what it's about give a short little description uh, give some appropriate tags depending on what it is I usually put mine in the education category and then you have some options in terms of your the privacy I usually make mine public so anyone can look at them um, you can have some other options too and then the licensing as well you can click on these to learn more about those particular li particular licensing options so it's uploaded already so it, we can go check it out and watch it it's all up on YouTube now that was a really small really short file what I like to do usually is record some videos and then I start them uploading and then I go to bed because it does sometimes take a while to get the things uploaded but then you get up the next day and they're there and ready for the world to check out um, a couple other things that I just want to make note of please be respectful of people's copyrights if you choose to use an image in a video or anything um, make sure that you just give credit to them uh, what I often do is just put like a little link to um, the URL where I got the image from like for example I've used a unit circle um, from Wikipedia and I just put a little link to that and also um, things like problems from textbooks or that sort of thing you can't copyright individual math problems but I would never just take an entire worksheet and go ahead and work that out in there so just be aware of those things and, and be respectful of people's copyrights so in summary recording YouTube videos for uh, or education um, again this is just one of many different ways that you can do it very inexpensive just using this uh, USB tablet and a microphone couple free pieces of software cam studio you can get it from camstudio.org and paint.net get it from getpaint.net then you can use those I talked about some of the settings for each of the programs doing the recording and then putting it up on YouTube and off you go hope this video is helpful um, I, if you have any questions on anything please don't hesitate to let me know I'll be happy to help you out and we can uh, go from there.